Can you just describe the past three years, what it's been like? It's definitely a roller coaster. Um, and it starts off with a lot of chaos and craziness and a complete disruption to your completely every normal daily routine. And, and you're just angry and you're bitter and you're trying to find answers. And you get a lot of different places to go and you can't be everywhere so and you don't want to interfere as much with the police but you feel you have to do something you can't just be sitting there defenseless and hopeless so you try to do as much as you can and then you have to kind of find a way to bleed yourself back into your normal life and your everyday routine and still try to accomplish something towards finding the whereabouts of your daughter and then it starts getting beyond a year and even though it, it gets a little bit more distant it's still a reality every day you wake up and you feel like have I done enough? Have I not done enough? And um, when you get into the period of two years, in between now you're, you're dealing with her things because obviously there's things about her personal life you have to try and tie up or, or find a way to put them on a, on a, on a, in a containment area or freeze for a little while. And you deal with a lot of different emotions with your children. You see the hurt they're going through, the confusion, it's not a reality, and then it starts becoming more of a reality. Three years into it now, you know, it's just like, Every day, every day is a thought about my daughter, you know. Every day there's not something. I might not show it the way a lot of other people do because uh, I don't have that luxury. You know, I have to stay focused as much as I can for a lot of people as well as myself. Um, but rest assured, it's something that I definitely would love to see come to a, some type of fruition, have some closure, um, have hope every day. And I've never lost hope that we're not going to see her walk through the door or have someone call us and say, and we think we might have found your daughter. So it's... You mentioned that uh, the closure, not having closure in a way, is a good thing. I mean, you want closure, but not having it, what does yeah, that do? you want closure, but of course, in half of that scenario with closure comes death, and then the reality of dealing with that. But in the other half of not having closure comes hope that she is still out there, and, and you can have the 50% of the closure that comes with finding her. Um, so yeah, I'd like to say I still have hope my daughter's out there and somebody's going to help us find her. Um, and, and there's still a reward, is that right? Are you there, still is, there still is a $50,000 reward to the person that gives us information that leads us to finding her. Uh, not information that leads us to finding uh, another piece of information. Maybe. Someone that comes forward that can help us get to where Courtney's at, there's 50 grand. Thanks.